Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 on PS4. This is day 112. There's still a lack of sunlight. So on with the contracts. Now my initial uh, thought here was to go through and do a small contract. This baling one isn't bad because field 20 is small. But uh, $2,000 roughly for a gross, or I'm sorry, a net payout. And bailing is just, even if it's on a small field, it's still time consuming because there's so many steps involved. This is a almost $10,000 job. I'm sorry, $9,000 job after we release this. These three pieces of equipment. We have a potato harvester, a trailer, and a tractor. And we're going to be harvesting field eight. No, not field eight. I'm just looking around here quick and seeing uh, if there's a better bang for the buck because I know this is going to take some time to harvest this <clears throat> even with this helpful equipment. Harvesting jobs I like, transport jobs I like. Sorry, field three and then I got to bring them all the way down. So we're going to be working on field three. I got to bring them all the way across the map back to the restaurant. Which is probably, what, three blocks away from the shop? Field three is way at the top of the map, but that's all right. We got this tractor that can go like 30 miles an hour, so that's not bad. This is the wagon that we're going to put the potatoes in when they're piped out or unloaded for, off the harvester onto the end of the wagon and then we'll take the wagon to the restaurant. And if I'm all over the place and driving crazy, I was distracted here and there. If you ever tried to do two things at once and done neither of them very well, that's what I was doing. I wasn't playing the game very well and I wasn't uh, I don't even remember what else I was doing. I think I was answering questions from the family. Now I am kind of taking some time here because I honestly don't remember ever using this potato harvester before. It's got these skinny pizza cutter tires up front and then a track in the back and all kinds of like, I don't want to call them belts. What do you call these things that just, they move? It's almost like a um, conveyor belt, but it's not. And there's a head up front that must dig the potatoes out and then feeds them to the, into the hopper. sure how that works but they must go right underneath the driver's seat there or maybe this thing in the front just digs it out and lays them brings the potatoes up to the surface and they get picked up by like some pick arms or roller arms or something it's hard to tell because these weeds are all over in this field I mean there's plants in there too but all those little green, all those plants with the green uh, stem and the colored flowers, those are wheat. So I finally figured out how to unfold this thing, so I got that unfolded. And the 
ladder comes down in this what do you call it I don't want to call it a pipe out whatever that is that thing's adjustable And I'm going real slow because I've never used this before. But I look at these. I looked at this field and I'm like, I want to get down because when you stand in the field here, it tells you all this information in the bottom right. 50% fertilized, 100% weeds. And I just wanted to see that info. So here's here's the harvesting. Once I get the lights figured out. One of the nice things about this field is it's not surrounded by any buildings or anything. So you have plenty of room to turn around. It seems like you're not going to be like over in the, I mean, I guess you could if you don't turn around. But anyways, you're far away from those railroad tracks, so you're not going to get smucked by a train while you turn around. And then uh, there's nothing really around you but fields. So there's no other buildings or nothing nearby. This field isn't really that big either. But it holds a lot of potatoes, my goodness. I don't know how many... They, they measure... The, in this game, they measure everything in liters. All your yield is measured in liters, which is strange. I don't know how you get liters of uh, potatoes, but that's how it works. So here we are just picking more potatoes, picking, harvesting more potatoes, digging more potatoes. That's what my family used to call it, dig, digging potatoes. And this trailer is pretty cool too. It's got lights on the inside of it so you can see inside the trailer which is pretty profound. Maybe that's normal on all new equipment but it just seems seems like something that's now that it's finally possible because of LED lights and whatever I think it's a good move. In the old days, if they did have such a thing, you'd have to be changing light bulbs all the time because they'd break. It'd be too big and bulky and fragile. So I'm just kind of going through these and doing the best I can here. some of this I didn't get filmed that's why this is kind of a shorter video it seems like I missed something and I did I didn't film every single pass on this so anyhow this is where they get delivered which we've made multiple uh, stops here contract on field 3 is now finished as it says in the upper right hand corner and I like how that unloads too we got an extra bonus of almost six grand. I'm sorry, fifty six hundred. That must have been uh for getting all the potatoes off the field. 
we've seen that before we're, we're not quite done with our work but we still get credit so anyway got another 9,000 coming so I made uh, over 14k on this job even with a lease of 600 and change which I think is a good deal for the equipment that we leased. It seems pretty cheap. So we got more money in the bank. We're doing better. And that's it for this episode. See you in the next episode.